Here again with Bethan Knight, senior uh, Northwood High School. We're hanging out down in Irvine leading up to the California State Track and Field Championships. And uh, uh, Bethan, uh, you talked before about how you felt like uh, after the Arcadia race uh, that, you, that you ran 10.05 and you were getting closer. The 10, 10 minutes was right around the corner. And uh, before the end of that month, uh, sure enough, it was Orange County Championships. Uh, I think a lot of people might have thought like, hey, this isn't going to happen not only for you, but for anybody until the postseason, and then, uh, and then lo and behold, uh, April 26th at, uh, at County, 9.59.20. When you look at the clock and you see nine in that first left-hand column, what, uh, what was that emotion like? Um, it was kind of unbelievable. I was like, did I skip a lap or something? Because, <laughs> um, you know, I hadn't done that before. And even going into the race, like, I knew it was going to be a big race, but um, I didn't expect to go that fast I guess I kind of had some splits in mind but uh, I wasn't sure if I would get to the same time that I got in Arcadia without uh, being pushed but I was able to push myself and then just felt really good to go for it in that last 800 and uh, when I saw the time on that final stretch, it just gave me that burst of energy to uh, just about make it under 10. <laughs> what, uh, what, what, what was the... Uh, you're, you're someone who seems to uh, feed off the crowd, both at, at, you know, at Mount Sac and Cross Country and Woodward Park and, and obviously at these big venues, these big races. I mean, they, they seem to lift you and give you energy. Subsequently, you give them something to cheer about. <laughs> uh, what, what, uh, to be able to do that for the first time in your backyard... Uh, you know, uh, to, to do it in, in county turf, if you will. Yeah. How, how, how sweet or how satisfying was that? Um, yeah, it was so it was really great to, it was a great atmosphere at OSA Championships, always a um, ton of people out there, a ton of people screaming, and like you said, that just like hearing the commentator saying, you know, she's going after that uh, Orange County uh, record, meet record, and things like that, uh, gets the crowd going, and then I can hear that, and gets me going too and it's great to have that support so less than a, a month later we uh we get to we get to cif finals and you went out and dropped jaws uh when you put up that 442 in the 16 and i think anybody was like wow that would have been that would have been a pretty good day right there and in and of itself and then all of a sudden you come back with the 958 42 in 3200 and people are talking about rich gonzalez is talking about and mike kennedy's talking about might be the greatest distance double ever for a california high school athlete and we weren't even at the masters or the state yet i mean <laughs> do, can you just kind of talk about like where your body was at and where your mind was at that day to be uh, to be able to say hey you know it, it wasn't going to be the last time you were at cerritos college but it is your last cif final and i mean talk about talk about you know wanting to sh uh, to give a show for the crowd and go out with a bang. I mean, I, I mean, how special was that for you? Uh, yeah, CIF is such a huge race, and uh, I knew going into the day that it was going to be the last time that I ran the 1600 for high school, and so I just wanted to go out there and go out with like a bang, like you said, um, just uh, to see what I could do and uh, have that PR for my high school career. And then, you know, I talked to my coaches and I was kind of worried. I was like, well, you know, if I do do this really good 1600, we'll be okay to come back and do this 32 um, later. And they said, you know, don't worry about the 32. Like, you just need to qualify and that um, we'll just go out, uh, do that 16 hard because it's your last one and then just see what we can do in the 3200. So uh, just kind of, I guess I wasn't too stressed about it. I was going into the race relaxed but hoping to do a good race. And I think... Uh, that just like, and then just having the crowd and the energy at CIF just allowed me to do the, both those really good times. Did it kind of just take on a life of its own in the 3200 where you were like, wow, I'm mm -hmm. feeling good, so yeah. let's just continue mm -hmm. to go? Yeah, it was again, um, I got some good competition with Destiny Collins on my back, and to have that again kind of reminded me of like Mount Carmel and Arcadia and to be racing some really good people, so that definitely pushed me. Okay. And we get to uh, last Friday at Masters, last time for you on the Cerritos College track, at least as a prep athlete. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously that's when the, uh, uh, did, did you feel like that was kind of when the discussion maybe first started or, or maybe the, the target first started pointing toward Kim Mortensen's national record uh, from, from 1996? Or I mean, had that been on you and your coach's radars uh, long before that? Because it just seemed like that's when the buzz kind of first started. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know, how are the conditions going to be? And is she, is she going to go for it? And, and, and you, you unbelievable race. Mm -hmm. Again, the majority of the time by yourself, 954-89. Uh, 
number four all time in California, number five all time in the in the U.S. But um, just how, how did I mean? How did how did you feel uh, going in? I mean, was it was it a legitimate target for you to, to try to pursue uh, Kim's record or just uh, just a PR and get yourself to state? How, what, what was the kind of the emotions or the strategy going in? Um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, buzz and a lot of people talking about the record and. You know, obviously it's something in the back of our minds, but my coaches and I wanted to really focus on just qualifying for this weekend as the big state meet. And we just wanted to go in there, uh, you know, hope the conditions were great and just hope to have a PR and have a big race and, you know, just see what we could do. And I was extremely happy with the time still. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about uh, what about from uh, from the standpoint of the splits? What uh, what did you learn? Because it was 450 and, fi uh, and 504. Did uh, did, did you feel uh, in any way, you know, stretched or, or taxed after uh, after the uh, after the first uh, 16? Did you feel like there was still more to give in, in, in the last 16? I mean, what were your takeaways in terms of your mind and how you felt and, and, how, and how maybe that can translate uh, to the state meet? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I think the first mile went really well. And, you know, it is tiring to come back and then do another uh, fast mile right after that. But uh, I think each time that you go under 10 and uh, you just like get out a lot from yourself and then the next time you can come back and do that one hopefully stronger in the second half and you know like you'll be a little bit less tired hopefully and kind of know how it feels but um, yeah the, my coaches you know we, we have talked and about not going out too fast because uh, obviously you don't want to give it all up and be dead uh, straight away, but sometimes the energy in the crowd and everything and the competition does make it a fast start. So. Okay.